Members of the SWAT team were driving in a convoy on their way to a training in Bureau Canyon when they came across a traffic collision that occurred in the afternoon on March 7, 2022. A motorcyclist and a vehicle had collided, and the motorcyclist was lying in the road yelling for help. The winding road and remote location presented additional challenges for the team, but they immediately divided their responsibilities to secure the scene and tend to the injured man. As we come around the corner, we see this motorcycle on the ground, a motorcyclist next to the motorcycle, and a Mercedes in the middle of the road facing the opposite direction. Uh, we noticed he had a pretty significant injury to his right leg, uh, just above his knee with a compound fracture, um, and several other fractures to his right ankle. Based on those injuries, we know that, that a tourniquet has to be applied immediately just to, to cover any severe blood loss in case there was more injury uh, to the leg that we couldn't see. I was bleeding very profusely. Um, I couldn't move. All I could do was scream out, and about that time, as I was screaming out, I heard a voice. I heard two voices. It was the, the Orange County Sheriff's Department. It was the SWAT team. The four um, sheriffs got right onto me and started um, putting uh, tourniquets on my body. We also attempted to get communication via our pack set, our radio set, and um, we were unable to due to the remote location that we were in. We stopped traffic going both north and south on that uh, canyon road, and we began telling civilians to go down and immediately contact 911 to get further medical attention. One of the vehicles that went down the hill was able to get a hold of 911, and they ended up contacting LA Sheriff's Department air support or air rescue. I came around one of the blind corners and saw Deputy Dombrowski and Monero tending to someone on the ground. I grabbed the trauma bag in the back of my vehicle. Uh, I started a rapid trauma assessment, grabbed a pair of trauma shears and started cutting away his clothing. And that's when I noticed he had a broken right ankle. Um, that is when we determined that we needed to uh, close off the road so that Air Rescue 5 can make a landing into the area. Um, it is a hillside, so there's no area for the helicopter to land. At that time, uh, LA County Fire Department and the LA County Sheriff's Air Rescue 5 arrived on scene and assisted us. Together, we all strapped him to a backboard and helped lift him up, and we all carried him onto uh, LA County Sheriff's Air Rescue 5. All the sheriffs were just fantastic. They, they worked, you know, as, as, a, as a team. Uh, my, which reminds me when I was in the Air Force, the teamwork that we had in the military. I was, you know, security specialist and, and uh, you work as, you function as a team, you survive as a team and these guys, I'm here because of them. Uh, when we learned that the victim was going to make a full recovery, um, for me, I uh, felt like it was like the right place, right time for us. Um, being able to, to render the aid and, and rely and fall back on the training that we've had through both the department and the extensive training on the SWAT team. There was no hesitation in our action, and I think that um, really helped us when we were on scene in that stressful situation. I was grateful and relieved knowing that the reason why we joined this career, to save others and help people in time of need, um, it paid off. And all I can say is thank you from the bottom of my heart. I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. You guys were the best, thank you.